Hi viewers, here we have with us Dr. Nagaraja Chairperson, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Amada Vishwavidya Pidam, Bangalore. Welcome to you, sir. So one of your students, if they comes and asks you, sir, please guide me after I complete my graduation in mechanical engineering. Should I go in for placements, which of course, uh, Amada does it for them? Or should I go for entrepreneurship? Should I start a new venture? I mean, you venture onto a new business? Or should I go for higher studies? What would be your recommendation as a chairperson of uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering, sir? Yeah, as uh, any graduating engineer, you have three choices. One is uh, entrepreneurship, then uh, placement, uh, of course. The other one is higher studies. I do feel that um, looking at the scenario, what you have, uh, work experience really, really helps. So, work for some time, maybe one year or two years, depending on your um, how much knowledge you gain uh, from the industry. Then you can take two paths. So one is go for IS studies because IS studies are very, very important if you want to grow in any organization because you do require not only technical knowledge, so you also require managerial knowledge. Okay? So how do you manage your, uh, your own work in workplace, your own um, staff? Okay, how do you guide them? So that is really required for you. The other one is entrepreneur. So even you want to become an entrepreneur, it's, it's best gain some work experience, okay? Maybe one year, maybe two years, or maybe three years, depending on your requirement. Okay, so looking at the scenario, I do feel that right now, the first choice should be your placement, then higher education, then entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, even though I'm saying it is the third place, but that should be your priority, maybe after two, three years of work experience, because you should become um, employee, employment generator rather than just become an employee. So viewers, I think what Sir has mentioned is to initially go in for placement for work for about a couple of years, gain experience and then uh, move on to higher studies and uh, once you finish your MS, then go on to start your own business and he rightly said uh, one should be able to generate employment for others rather than seeking employment and well said sir. But then going to an international university where students would like to go to either US or Canada, Australia, UK to do their MS. Uh, we have two things here. One is to clear uh, either IELTS yeah. or TOEFL with GRE score. So in those areas where our children, our students would like to opt for uh, international degrees, uh, what type of help do you give to those students to clear uh, GRE as well as uh, TOEFL and IELTS wherever it is applied? So do, do you help the students in this particular case? And secondly, there are also students who would like to opt to go into IITs and NITs, yeah. even repeat their uh, MTEC in our institution, and we yeah. need to write an examination which is called GATE. Yeah. So these are all, I understand that uh, it's not that easy cakewalk for this yeah. type of examination, but do you really coach and train our students to qualify in this type of system? And what support do you give to our students? So you have uh, two things now, as uh, you rightly pointed out, one is going for higher studies in um, um, technical education in India or abroad, okay. So based on your uh, choice. Technical education in India, if you want to do in IITs or any good institution, you require GATE. So that is graduate aptitude test for engineering, you require that. As a uh, department, we try to help our students to qualify for GATE. So we have tie up with um, um, different uh, agencies which come and coach the students. Not only that, in the department itself, starting from third semester onwards, we try to conduct um, mock tests, for our own faculty conduct mock tests and give a feedback where the, their fundamentals are lacking because all these um, gate exam fundamentals are very, very important. Okay? So we try to help the students in that respect. So coming back to um, the GRE uh, and ILTS, uh, most of the GRE and ILTS look at your analytical ability, then your creative ability, then quantitative, then aptitude. All these things are taken care by our CIR department, that's a corporate and industrial relations department, which trains the students for soft skill training they give. So they help indirectly the students. Not only that, we also have tie up with uh, external agencies to come here in our campus and do GRE coaching and gate coaching.